Hello. Welcome to this video called Sensationalism in TV News. In the previous video, we talked about how television news is affected by ratings. In this video, we're going to talk about what sensationalism is, and then we'll explore two types of sensationalism, celebrity culture and over-reporting disasters. In the previous video, we talked about how journalists try to get sources to talk exclusively with them, and how TV journalists try to be the first to break a story. Another way that news programs try to attract more viewers is by focusing too much on the most shocking, frightening, or exciting stories. This is called sensationalism. Not all stories are like a movie, but the stories that do seem like a movie generally get more viewers. Let's take a look at the first type, celebrity culture. Oftentimes, events that happen to regular people like weddings, divorces, or health problems can be big news when they happen to celebrities. A celebrity is a famous person. A celebrity could be a politician like President Obama or a well-known sports player like David Beckham, or a musician or actor like Madonna. In fact, there's even a type of journalist called paparazzi that focuses on celebrity culture. The paparazzi's job is to follow celebrities around and report on their every move. When a journalist invades the privacy of a source, like a celebrity, they aren't using the principle of humanity in their reporting. Remember, humanity means being kind to other people. Paparazzi can make a lot of money selling those pictures and stories to news programs, but it's not always the best kind of reporting. When the news focuses on the lives of celebrities and not the events that affect everyday people, this is a form of sensationalism. Sensationalism places a greater importance on ratings than good journalism. The second type of sensationalism is over-reporting on disasters. A disaster is an extreme event uh, that involves weather, like tornadoes, tsunamis, or earthquakes, or transportation, like a missing plane or train accident, or unexpected violence, like a terrorist attack. These are very serious and important events. Sometimes journalists can over-report or report too much on a disaster, meaning they ignore all other news for weeks or even months, reporting exclusively, or only, on a disaster because of its shock value. A news story with shock value usually makes viewers feel strong negative emotions like fear or anger. people are more likely to watch the news when they have a strong negative emotion. So this type of sensationalism takes advantage of a natural human reaction. Journalists should show restraint when they report on stories with shock value. For example, in the wintertime, many people watch the news for reports on possible snowstorms. Obviously, a snowstorm can affect thousands, even millions of people. So news programs may over-report, or report too much, on a future storm. This makes people afraid as they plan for their weeks. They go to grocery stores and buy food or expensive equipment for getting rid of snow. The snowstorm is an event that people need to know about, but sensational over-reporting means that people are not hearing about other important events. Humanity and restraint, these principles of journalism, are important and good journalists take them into consideration with every story they broadcast. The struggle between good journalism and ratings is a real challenge that journalists face every day. Programs that rely too much on sensationalized stories could eventually lose the trust of their audience. To summarize, we talked about what sensationalism is, and then we explored two types of sensationalism, celebrity culture and over-reporting on disasters. Sensationalism can work against the principles of humanity and restraint. In the next video, you'll learn about the 24-hour news cycle.